finished. Oh, I think we hear the people backstage preparing for <laughs> for the presentation. So, so we will start, right? We will start. Thank you for patience, uh, right? So, uh, people are arriving from transport, right? But uh, so you're here, you are really the community, right? Facing this strike <laughs> and being there on time. So, I will ask you, how are you, Paris? <laughs> ah, come on. How are you, Paris? Yeah, that's better, that's better. So uh, it's the eighth EPRS Paris, right, since 2012. Uh, and uh, funny enough, last year we had the yellow, yellow vest movement, now we have this, this strike. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, you know, we have to face that, right? We have to be prepared. It's like EPIs, right? We have to be prepared when things fail, right? You know, we need to have our uh, cash solutions, right? So we had some cash speakers say, hey, I want to talk like, hey, uh, one speaker cancel, can I be in, right? We need to have our circuit breakers, right? <laughs> to know when things fail, actually, what's the solution we have? So actually, we try to apply all what we know about APIs over the last um, eight years to conferences, and I hope we will ha you will have a great, uh, great two days. Uh, so quick question in the room, who is uh, more from a technical background? Yeah, most of the room, right? Most of the room, right? Uh, and who is more senior, more than 15 years of experience? Hey, you don't look, you look young, right? No, okay, so that's good, that's really good. Uh, and uh, uh, yes, yeah, so, so, so we will start, I will see if my slides can, can come up, right? Uh, uh, we will start because, uh, yeah, so this is the, the event uh, of this year from legacy, legacy to agile, from product to ecosystems, right? So talking about IT, talking about business, right? And just to say for the people who doesn't know APIs, who, has, who have been to a previous APIs before? Yeah, some people in the room, okay, nice. Uh, uh, nice, so APIs is a series of events, and let's say that, that try to manage everything about the API lifecycle. We help companies and developer teams, you know, with uh, consulting, with trainings, uh, we build reports, uh, we build content, we really try to evangelize the use the, in a good practice of APIs, right? Uh, we do also that with, uh, uh, with events, right? This is the, our series of events. So when I said it's the eighth events in Paris, actually it's the 47th events worldwide, right? So this is all the events we will have this year, next year, right? Uh, USA, Europe, Southeast Asia, Australia, and we even, even go to Hong Kong, right? And so as I said about the, uh, trying to, push the button here, yeah, yeah. Uh, so 47 events, we had all the industry who has sponsored all these events. It's a total of uh, more than 20,000 attendees total, right? Uh, 14 countries and you know, like a lot of companies, a lot of past speakers, right, actually we, uh, and, and that's really interesting that a lot of our speakers were past attendees, right? They were attendees and then they went speakers, right? Some of them are also organizer of events, so just to tell you how, how it goes, how it's community driven. We also do publications, so we do reports on banking APIs, we do reports on DevSecOps practice, we do reports on GraphQL, so you can find them on the API Days uh, website. We do reports on the state of documentation and stuff like that. And so, uh, yeah, as I said, it's really community driven, right? Uh, so, so when there is no strike, this is what happens, right? <laughs> Last year, but uh, uh, yeah, so it, people, the room will be full around 11, so just to say prepare uh, yourself, brace yourselves <laughs> to find your seat. But yeah, so it's really a community-driven event, and actually this is an event to connect the humans behind APIs, right? That's really the premise there, right? So we, we talk to each other, we, some people follow each other on Twitter, right? And, and talk to email. But this is the event where if you wanna meet some API influencers, API practitioners, this is the place to be, right? So what I will ask you for the next 30 seconds is to connect with your right neighbor and to your left, ne left neighbor, right? Have two, two valuable introductions, right? Right now. So yeah, you can do it.
Ok, ok. Ok, Don. <laughs> so we will have uh, breaks and networking and moments and lunch, right, to continue the discussion. But uh, actually some cheated. They were with colleagues, right? They didn't play the game. But I s I've seen you, right? I've seen you there. Also, I will ask you something. So as more people are arriving, uh, can, s can you go a little bit, people on the outside, right, on this side, can you go a little bit in center so can people can come in, right? Can we try to do that? Yeah, for 10, 15 seconds. Thank you very much. So like people from the outside can come in, right? Yeah. That's the morning uh, activity, right? Thank you very much for making it possible to sit on the sides, right? So a few things. Uh, before going into the, 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 the main details, right, about the event, we have three initiatives. Uh, we have three initiatives that we really push all year along in uh, 2019 and 2020. And so it's our Women API initiative, our, e our media platform, and our challenge for sustainable digital uh, society, right? So for the first one, Women in APIs, uh, it's, a, it's an important uh, part of the community. I will ask Isabel. Who is Isabel? Where is Isabel? Yeah, Isabel to be here to explain you about Women in You can applaud her. Thank you, Mehdi. Thank you, Mehdi. Uh, yes, we've launched the Women in APIs initiative this year. And looking at the audience again, I think it's a good idea. Uh, that's a picture which I love because I think it's just a very nice picture. And uh, last year we had something amazing is that we more or less doubled the uh, audience of the API days in Paris, which was great. And then we thought that the community was growing, it was amazing, but we thought it could, could, could be growing in a, in, a, in a more diverse way. So it tells us a lot about our uh, role as uh, conference organizers and programmers. Um, as Mehdi said, it's really about the community. People talking at each event are people who came first to listen. They are really uh, speakers come from the community. So we think that it's our role to make sure that more women come to us through the call for speakers, for instance, uh, so that we can uh, we can have a, a more diverse audience. So we thought that one of the very important things we needed to do is start gather data. And we said, we, you know, open, we are pretty open about it. We started uh, last year, we had about 12% of female speakers at, in Paris, and we thought we must be able to do better. Obviously, we're not going to program a speaker just because it's a woman. We're programming, you know, an interesting interve intervention. So, as you can see, it's not that easy. The curve is going up, but it's not an easy path. And it's something I've learned, it's very interesting for all of us to say that we're going there, but obviously, because it's about the community, we need you guys and ladies uh, to help us with this. So we've reached this year 20, we've recalculated this morning with a couple of uh, uh, program shuffles uh, this morning. So we're, at, we're almost at 22%, then we went back 21% uh, speakers in Paris. Um, so we've launched this year the initiative called Women in APIs, uh, the idea is that we need this call for speaker to reach out to more people. We need f women who have maybe not spoken before to feel uh, strong enough and confident enough to come, you know, talk at the API days. Uh, so on our website, we've got this initiative we're committed to. Uh, so any woman you know, so if you're a woman and you have not talked at the API days, come talk to me if you're a bit shy or you know, just apply the call for speakers. So you can apply to be a speaker. You can become a contributor in the API scene uh, media. You can also uh, get involved as an ambassador. Uh, and if you are a company looking to recruit more people, you might be interested in becoming a sponsor of the API days in a dedicated program, uh, Women in APIs. So that's basically what I had to say. We are going to host a lunchtime panel tomorrow. Uh, so come, uh, all of you, men and women alike, and uh, we'll be very happy to have you and discuss the very tangible things you can all do to help us, uh, you know, have a more diverse community. Thank you very much, Isabel, for this first initiative. The second initiative we launched is APIC.io. It's a, it's a media platform about news about APIs, right? And this is where we encourage at least 
all our speakers to publish an article about their talk, right? So when we publish the videos, when we can, when they've done the job, right? But we also have the article explaining it, right? Because just a video is boring and who really have a time of 25 minutes like videos these days, right? But just the text, sometimes it's boring, right? So we try to put the video, the slides, and the text in the same place. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's our initiative to bring more content right, in, the, in, the, uh, in, in the space. And the last one is the challenge for sustainable software, right? So what it is, it will be a three-month challenge, right, from January, February, and March, right, where the, the goal will be three months to re refactor your IT project with eco-design principles, right? So we'll organize workshops and webinars, you know, like uh, we'll publish content about how you can apply code, architecture, design, and hardware uh, principles, uh, eco-design principles to lower the impact of your apps, right? Uh, but with the same performance, right? And the rules, so every team will select one project, new or ongoing. Team will identify and apply markers to opt optimize environmental impact, right, on code, architecture, uh, and design and development. Uh, they will have a, a mentor that knows the code design principles for the three months of the challenge, right? And, uh, and then at the end, every team will present how they refactored their uh, current app or software or open source, you know, uh, uh, software into uh, lower, uh, let's say, consumption energy uh, um, system, right? So it will be a, we will have a booth there if you want to apply with your team, with your company, right? It's free to apply. Uh, uh, and yes, we have sponsors and Google Cloud, especially, who is sponsoring it to, uh, uh, to, 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 give, to be able to give a lot of value for everybody, right? So that's our three initiatives, three main initiatives. But let's talk about Paris, right? You're here for Paris. Let's talk about Paris right now. So the, we will talk, we will try to explore what's the API mindset, right? We will try to look at companies who will present their API-driven digital transformation from Airbus to Société Générale to Michelin to, to uh, yeah, others to the New, New York Metropolitan Museum of Art, right? Who will also present. So we'll really have uh, these, these companies explaining how they, how they do that. We'll talk about business models, API as a product, uh, governance and management. And then we'll dive into more architecture and development, right? Uh, we'll have a track on API specification on, on uh, tomorrow. We'll talk about microservice, service meshes, and how to build APIs for that. We'll have a GraphQL track tomorrow, right? In this room, right? Because last year, uh, who was at GraphQL track last year? Some people, it was packed, right? Remember? I see some people say yes, too, too much people. So it will be in this room. And we also have a talks about What's a society that's becoming programmable, data-driven, and what's the impact in that, right? So you will have a, you have a program, maybe it's, we have printed programs everywhere, uh, but you can see like kind of the track from API-driven uh, corporations to design architecture, developer experience, security. On day one and day two, GraphQL, programmable society with APIs, API specs and cloud delivery, uh, product lifecycle management, and government and public sector APIs, right, in partnership with the European Commission. But you have access to all of this, right? So the, for the Twitter, right? So uh, because we need to make more noise, more noise than the, the current strike coming. So API is Paris is the main twi uh, Twitter hashtag. You can use a secondary hashtag as API days, right? And so the, the Wi-Fi uh, is the Wi-Fi le beffroi, right? You can check and there is something to click and there is no, no password there, right? You have a networking app, Connects Me, where you can find the program and connect with others. So if you just log into the app with your email, the email you used to register, they will find you automatically, right? Ooh, technology. And then you will be able to connect with others, exchange details, find people you wanted to, to, to meet, right? Okay. So we're one minute from the start. I just wanted to do a special, special thank you for our uh, main sponsor of 2019, who has been WSO2 and who is Platinum Sponsor of Paris. Uh, yeah, they're really supporting us everywhere. And, uh, you know, these uh, kind of events, it's not possible with this level of engagement from sponsors. So I will just ask you to please have a warm applause for WSO2.
It's one of the leaders of API management and open source API management, so uh, don't hesitate to go at their booth, right? We also have uh, other sponsors like Google IPG, IBM, Kong, Nginx. Yes, we pronounce it Nginx, right? <laughs> For sometimes uh, <laughs> people miss it. Uh, Segment and Software AG, right, which are gold sponsors. And we have also a lot of silver and bronze sponsors that make the event possible, right? Uh, with a beautiful room, a beautiful, uh, tasty food, you will see. Uh, so yes, yeah, so all these sponsors make the event possible. They also have the tools to make your API management program uh, ready to go. So don't hesitate if you are looking for, uh, you know, something that works. Uh, we've tried to gather the best uh, sponsor possible, presenting these solutions. Right? Last but not least, as last year, we we have an escape the conference game. Who have ever played escape the room games? Yeah, so it's 40 euros per hour, you know, really expensive, but really fun, right? And so we have an exp 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 we have an escape the conference game. We did it last year. We had the 700 people uh, playing, right? Uh, it's two days to find the API keys, right? Actually, yeah, uh, Photoshop missed a little bit here. But it's two days to find the API key to escape the conference, right? So what do you have? You have some riddles printed all over the place, right? You have a maze online that you have to solve, right? And to find the API key, right? And, to, and there is a big, there is a nice gift at the end if you find it, right? So it's a uh, technical and uh, riddles, but sometimes non-technical people can play also for some of them, right? So you can, you can play in teams. And if you cannot want, if you don't want to do the whole game, you have uh, 3,000 keys in a jar and you can try to brute force and find the key to thing, right? You can try, right? And actually, there is a real key inside. So, you know, there is a real key. We have a booth there. And if you want to play uh, the game, uh, start to play after the keynotes on escape.epidays.io, right? You will enter the maze. It's a hypermedia API maze. And, uh, and then you will be able to be amazed, right? <laughs> Sorry for that, right? <laughs> 